Well, no doubt about it, technology has vastly accelerated the number of people working from home in the past decade, but nothing has sped that up like the COVID-19 pandemic. This morning, Consumer Reporter Ace Aaron Smith has some suggestions to ease that transition for us. More than 60% of Americans are working from home these days, according to recent Gallup panel data. The same study shows most people like it and want to continue to work remotely as much as possible, even after public health restrictions are lifted. But making the switch to home from office isn't easy for everyone. Florida-based business coach Angela Civitella says it's all about setting boundaries and managing expectations. And find a place where the moment you enter that zone, your mindset clicks in where, okay, it's time to work. Let me get out my calendar. These are my appointments. These are the phone calls I need to make. This is what I need to get done. One mistake to avoid? Be overwhelmed that when they're at home, they're thinking, oh my God, I have to do this, but I see that there's chores that need to get done. I got to get to the laundry. I got to make lunch. No, nope. I mean... The same way you handle your chores when you're at the office, that's the same way you're handling your chores when you're at home. It doesn't give you license to do more laundry, to do more cleaning or more cooking. It's the same routine, the same pa patterns are important to keep. What's the best way to deal with rowdy kids and other distracting family members? The hard, you know, constructive discussion needs to take place within the home to make the family understand that, you know, we're all in this together. I need you just as much as you need me. I need your help now. Tomorrow, could the level of humidity in your room actually affect how the virus travels? I'll have details. I'm Asa Aaron Smith, WJCL 22 News. Asa, we thank you so much on